What's up, Wonderama? I am Corbin Maxi, and welcome to Wonderama in the Wild. And today, we're gonna talk about turtles and tortoises. These are both sulcata tortoises found in northern Africa. They are one of the largest tortoise species in the world. This is Tank. He's 18 years old and he's 150 pounds. And this is his son. This is Tucker and he's only one month old. Can you believe that Tucker one day will get this big and they can get even bigger, up to 200 pounds. Sulcata tortoises are herbivores, meaning they eat grasses, plants, and occasionally will feed them fruit as a treat. The majority of their diet includes grasses. It's like having a local lawnmower. One of the number one questions I get is how you tell the difference between a turtle and a tortoise. So to help me out, I brought out my pet turtle. This is Herman, and Herman is a three-toe box turtle, and you know, Tucker, the sulcata tortoise. So the rule of thumb is tortoises, like Tucker, always live on land, while turtles always live in water or near water. Okay, now Wonderama, there are exceptions, and guess what? Herman, the three-toe box turtle, is an exception because box turtles do live on land, but you're always gonna find them near a water source. Let's talk about some other differences between turtles and tortoises. Tortoises have round elephant-like feet. Check out Tank's chunky feet. Those are used to walk on land, while turtles, like Herman, have longer, narrow feet. Box turtles are one of the most numerous turtle species found in North America. This right here is called a three-toe box turtle because, look at that, Herman has three claws or three toes. You can tell the difference between box turtles and other turtles because they have a hinge. Check this out. Box turtles have a hinge that allows them to close themselves all the way up in their shell like a box. It's an excellent defense mechanism. If you ever see a box turtle crossing the road, help it cross in the direction it was going. Now always, of course, watch out for traffic. Come here, Herman, we'll help you cross. This right here is Tinkerbell. She is our 50-year-old African sulcata tortoise. She was actually rescued. We found her trying to cross rush hour traffic in Nampa, Idaho. She was actually going faster than the cars and we're so happy we rescued her so she did not get hit. I brought Tinkerbell's favorite treat. Check this out. Turtles and tortoises don't have teeth like we do. They almost have a sharp edge like a bird's beak that helps them tear apart grass, plants, and apples. You see, they also have a human-like tongue. Turtles and tortoises are prehistoric animals. Did you know they've been around for over 225 million years? This right here is an alligator snapping turtle, and they are found in the southeastern parts of the United States in places like Florida, Georgia, and Louisiana. This turtle is also the only turtle in the world that has a worm-like tongue. What they'll do is they'll sit at the bottom of a pond or a lake and they'll wiggle that tongue to attract fish, frogs, and even other turtles. Warning, do not try this at home. He has over 1,000 pounds of pressure in his bite. Sadly, these beautiful turtles are threatened in most of their range due to overcollection for the pet trade and also when people make turtle soup. If you ever get offered turtle soup, say no. These turtles are so crucial for the environment. They help clean up dead and dying fish that would otherwise spread disease. Well, that's it for me, David. I'm Corbin Maxey. This is Happy. Thank you for watching Wonderama in the Wild. We'll see you next time. Wonder